saying that you are going to not to talk to them. He is just saying do not do the things that they do against the will of the Father. Go to verse 19, Brother Shandra. You see? That's why the word says a while ago, do not lay up your treasures here on this earth. Right. Because again, it is prepared for fire. Yeah. We, you know, there's one thing that I cannot understand here in what we call the United States of America. And I heard this so many times with the people, especially in my school. They said they woke up and leave to work in this world. I have a co-teacher that is almost 70 and still working. And I said, Mom, don't you have something to do for yourself? And said, no, Mr. Dante, I need to work. Why? I need to pay for my bills. Are we created to work on this earth? We live to work here in America. Instead of we should work We work to live, but not live to work. We choose which is which. And Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 2. Here we go again. Young folks, look at this. Dean, Jeff, Romilene, Miracle, Moriah, where's my two daughters? Natalie, Joy, Shandon, you are not, you are not part of that. You are still part of that. Young. <laughs> Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 2. Read on, Brother Shandon. understand that, my dear young children? Sometimes you, just like us, during our time of our youth, we just care about to go party. To be cool and to be good looking and then be accepted with our peers. Knowing and thinking that we will never die or we cannot die. We just want to party, isn't it? Because if that is the case, you will never think that judgment will come. You will never think of anything of that. All you have to do is just be merry and party for that day or for that night. You will never think that you are going to end up dead one way or the other. That's why King Solomon said it is better to go in the house of mourning because you will think that you are going to end up dead one day. And even Solomon said, Father, go, young man. Do what your heart desires. Eat, be merry. But know this. Judgment will come. Solomon did not, did not uh, take away that thing. That he says, you can do whatever you want in this world. Nobody is going to hold you back. No holds bear. You can do whatever you want. But remember this, Solomon said, judgment come. 
whether you do good or you do bad. In Matthew chapter 12, verse 35, Matthew 12, 35. A good man, out of the good pressure of the heart, bringeth forth good things. You know the word, fake it until you make it? It's not going to happen. Not in this lifetime. Because whatever we do out of the goodness of the heart, then it is from Father. Yes, goodness, that we will be able to do good things. Because if it's not in your heart, it will come out one way or the other. That's why he says, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. The same thing, a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Right. At the end of the day, it will come out. An evil man out of the earth, the evil pressure bringeth forth evil things. Time and time again, we have seen those before us come and go in this sanctuary. This is my 10th year, our 10th year as a family here. Because way back in 2012, that's where we start here. And to remember those people that come and go here in the sanctuary, our Apostle Saul said, they are not our real brothers and sisters. Because if they do, they should still be here. That's why it says, to those who will endure to the end, whatever this life brings unto us, expect for good things, but prepare for the worst. Because if our rabbi in his goodness, in his power, he endured so many things. What do you think you is going to be spared of the things that's going to happen in this world? Things will come in our way. It's not because it is going to, it will happen, but it is the question of when it is going to happen. You will be judged, we will be judged by the desires of our heart. Because in Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 24, after all these things that you have heard, that you have witnessed, that have been explained to you, and still you have no inclination to ask Father Yah to direct your heart. Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 24 says, But they, who are they? The people during the time of Jeremiah. The people whom Father Yah told Jeremiah to speak, the stiff-necked-hearted heart people. I am hoping and praying that there is no one in this sanctuary. Because they hearken not, nor incline the ears, but walk where? In the councils and in the imagination of what? Of their evil Do not blame your parents. 
Your parents did what they could during that time. Father, I will give you time to decide for yourself. So don't point your finger to your parents. The, point, the pinpointing is done. You are now here. You are hearing the word of Father Yah. You are now going to decide which is which. The good thing that Father Yah gave us what you call the free will so that Father Yah find, want to find out who among us we're going to love him with all our heart. Without constraint of forcing him to do it. Without any condition for you to do it. Well, there's a, you, you might say condition, but that is what you call a gift, probably. Oh. But as I talk in of being a good son and daughters, that if you do his will, you will inherit his kingdom as a good son and a good daughter, good children. But if Father is talking to you right now and you have the audacity of not to hearten, not to incline, and yet you continue to walk in the counsels and the imagination of your evil heart, instead of going forward, you are going backward. Father Yah, time and time again, sent his disciples, his servants, and we are just so lucky that he sent somebody to preach the word to them. Because this word comes first to me before it goes to you. Hallelujah. That's why Saul said, I am counting myself also to do these words that you might say when I will be cast away. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 8. I'm almost. <laughs> Matthew chapter 5, verse 8, it says, This is a condition that you will see, Father Yah. And what's the condition? Blessed are the pure in heart. Blessed are those who seek Father Yah's righteousness. Blessed are those who do the will of our Father. Blessed are those who proclaim the will of Father Yah. Blessed are those who have pure in their heart. They do it with gladness. They do it with joy. They do it as if there is no another day. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Father. And for this it says, for they shall see our Elohim. Hallelujah. Now when you say you shall see, meaning you are going to inherit what Father Yah promised for his sons and daughters. Yeah. His kingdom that will be here on earth because it will come down from heaven. That's why he says here in Psalm chapter 27 verse 14. Psalm 27 14 Wait on the Almighty Father Yah. Be 
of good trouble. Father, you knows whatever predicament you are. Mm -hmm. Father, you knows whatever you are experiencing right now. Right, right. Yes, yes, yes. The question is, whatever you are experiencing right now, whether it is a burden or it is a problem to you emotionally and it is draining you spiritually. Father, you have said, wait from Father Yes. With be of good courage. Mm -hmm. And he, he said, shall strengthen thy heart. Yes. And again, wait, I say, on Father Yes. Right. Yeah. Again, wait, I say, on Father Yes. And for our last word, in Psalm chapter 19, verse 14. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart means whatever you think, whatever you desire, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to accomplish from this day forward be acceptable in the sight of you, Almighty God. Because Almighty Yah is our strength.